cleaned, now's the time to call 1-800-STEAMER. Call or go online to book a free inspection today. Stanley Steamer, it's your home cleaner. I need a shortcut. I need to make dinner in 15 minutes. A 15 minute lasagna. Oh, it's so perfect! Plus a statement salad. Look how good that looks, man. Mixed break, y'all. Weekdays at 2 on Local 3. You know the saying, drum roll please. I think this morning we should be saying trombones please, 76 of them if you will, because Chattanooga Christian School is gearing up and you are invited to the Music Man for a two weekend run in March. We are happy to welcome the stars of the show. This is Elliot Walker, who is Professor Harold Hill. Of course he is. And uh, Macy Berry next to him, who is the beautiful Marion. Good to see you both. Good to, Good to see, see you. you. So are y'all having fun with this show? I'm, I'm having a great time. It's a lot of work, but it's really enjoyable. You made me feel very old, and you don't know that you did it, Elliot. But I was asking you if you had grown up watching the show. Mm -hmm. And you referenced that you had had a chance to be in New York, and you saw Hugh Jackman and Sutton Foster on Broadway, which is true. I remember quite well, and probably a lot of people watching do, there was a movie about it starring Shirley Jones and Robert Preston. It was legendary. Mm -hmm. So people have grown up playing this music and singing it their whole lives. Yeah. Are you in love with the show? Yes, it's such a captivating love story and I just love the way that it illustrates um, how music can just bring so much joy to a community mm -hmm. and the importance of vulnerability. It's, so you're a, it's a high school performance. Yes. At Chattanooga Christian, you're lucky enough because you're a K through 12 school. So do you have a classmate in the lower school who plays the little brother? We have a bunch of uh, elementary schoolers. We have like, so a uh, person who plays Winthrop. Winthrop, in, yes. Yes, yes. yes. He's Luke Schimpf. He, oh. He's in fifth grade. I wonder if he's talented. He's, <laughs> the, he's gotta be the director's son, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes, so we, I mean, we have a bunch of other elementary schoolers and then we have like, I had a couple of kids here and there. They're, yeah. They all take up a good majority of the show. So mm -hmm. it's, it's great to have them. It's, it's a whole school thing. It's right. not just the high school. We have middle schoolers. We have a bunch of elementary schoolers. So uh, there are so many things we can talk about. Let's talk first of all um, about the strength of your cast and the director. Y'all begin rehearsal in what, December? Yes, ma'am. It's truly an ensemble show because you can't carry this off if everyone's not strong. Mm -hmm. So do you feel good about it? Yes, we have plenty of talented um, musicians, dancers. I mean, we've got comedians, we've even got the athletes. <laughs> and everyone's just, everyone wants to be there mm -hmm. and everyone wants to tell the story. And Mrs. Schimpf, our director, just does a fantab fantastic job at um, just integrating all of the different talents that people have to offer right. and putting on a great piece of art. There is just nothing quite like musical theater. Mm -hmm. it's, it's its own special addiction, mm -hmm. really. Um, but when you are in a, in a theater watching a live performance and those ground swells of music, you know, the full choral power mm -hmm. comes into it. Does it give you chills in rehearsals right now? It's, it's incredible. I mean, I was literally yesterday, I was trying on costumes because I mean, there's so many different arts that are at hand in these things. You True. have like tech, you have, you have tech, you have visual, you have, I mean, all kinds of different arts, vocal, mm -hmm. acting, all of them. But I was changing for my costume and I could hear our ensemble singing in the choir room that was like a couple feet away and it was just so loud. I was really surprised Yeah. because I was through like three different like full length of concrete walls and I right. could hear them perfectly. It was right. really cool to hear, honestly. So there's a lot that you learn when you're in a theatrical production. Of course, you learn all about stage presence and, and poise and delivery and all of that kind of thing. But you learn a lot about history, too, mm -hmm. when you're in a show. I'm guessing that there was some of the dialogue in this show that was unfamiliar to the two of you, right? Oh, yes. Yeah, I, my character says, says some weird things. Like, <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know half the things I'm saying. There's, I'm talking about horse riding and then like <laughs> different types of cigarettes that people would smoke and finding out like ragtime was a thing that you didn't really want to talk about. Using right. hips and dancing was a little bit too right. much. So it, and you thought it was okay to play pool. Yeah, exactly. Right. So there's just a bunch of different things that I had to like look up and figure out before I started saying that. And for you, Macy, you've got the challenge of starting off kind of cold mm -hmm. and then you got to warm up by the end of the show, right? Yes, yes. I mean, it's... It's very, um, it is very challenging, but it's very fun because I just, I just love like the slow progression of Marion and the way that she just does start off really cold and very stubborn and very, you know, just like the rest of everybody in Iowa, just very stubborn. And it's just very fun to like slowly just melt and slowly just become more vulnerable. And it is a challenge, but I'm really having a lot of fun doing it. It's a comedic show, so you're kind of the straight man. 
Yes. Right? Yes. Uh, but you've got some hysterical ca characters. Talk about Eulalie Schimpf. Is that what Eulalie, what's the mayor's name? Eulalie Shin. Shin, sorry. Shin, yes. <laughs> I, Lizzie, uh, or Lizzie Wilson, she plays that character. She is doing an incredible <laughs> job. Every single time she does, says any line, I'm laughing on stage. And yeah. I, I'm supposed to be stay composed, but I can't hold it it's most of the time. It yeah. really is. <laughs> and then maybe we have Tristan Young. He's playing uh, the mayor's husband. Yeah. Uh, What's his name? Mayor Shen. Mayor Shen. Mayor Shen. Mayor Shen. Yeah. And, uh, and he's funny. It, he's incredible. And who's the who's the sidekick to Harold Hill? What's his name? Uh, Marcellus Washburn. That's it. Is he funny too? Oh, he's hilarious. Uh, we have, uh, when we do Sadder But Wiser, which is a song with me and him, it's the most goofy song I've ever done in my life. And it's, <laughs> I mean, I think he jumps in my arms at some points. It's really right. fun to do. Well, um, okay, so the tickets are going to go fast. Y'all have long had a, a big reputation in town for doing great musical theater. So are you doing, I know you're doing, what is it, a Thursday, Friday, Saturday showing, is that right? Yes, we're doing Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Um, all the shows are at seven, except on Saturday we have two shows, um, the matinees at one, and mm -hmm. then at seven o'clock. And it's the two weekends, so the 16th yes. to the 18th, and then again, 23 to 25. Mm -hmm. Yes. You're both seniors. Yes. Um, is this bringing a lot of emotion out for you right now? Or are y'all kind of pushing that aside for the time being? You know, I feel like I have kind of been pushing it aside just because I feel like it's, I mean, I've grown up in CCS theater. It's just been such a like important part of my life. It's like why I love CCS. And so um, I definitely think it will be, the closing night will be a very emotional day. Yeah. But Buy um, some stocking Kleenex while you do Yes, <laughs> yes, waterproof mascara. <laughs> 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 but I'm very excited. I think it's, I think it's going to be fantastic. You feel the same yeah, way? Yeah, the same way. I mean, I mean, I've done theater since sixth grade at CCS, and I've been at CCS for 13 years at this point, so mm -hmm. it's all I've known, but it's, yeah. I'm excited to move on, but at the same time, there's a lot of emotions that are going to be at play. I just haven't really thought about them yet, but I know they're going to hit me. And you're waiting to hear about schools. You're planning to go to UTK. Yes, ma'am. You'll keep the theater part of your yeah. life, and then yes. also do journalism. Yes, ma'am. That's right. And you're waiting to hear from Belmont. Yes. That's your top choice. Yes, top choice. All right. Well, hit those high notes high notes well, will you? <laughs> yes, ma'am. That's a challenge. That's mm -hmm. a high chord you got to <laughs> yeah. hit. It's definitely the highest we've ever sung in any show, but I'm very excited. So you can be there to cheer them on. It's the music <laughs> man. You'll go home singing Shapoopy and 76 trombones, and then you'll have fun saying, uh, having a little lisp. Does, does, does Winthrop have the he lisp does. in the show? He does show? have the lisp. <laughs> okay, good. That's half the fun. So you can get your tickets at ccsk12.com backslash tickets. It'll get you right there. Thank you both so much. Thank, Thank you so much. Break a leg. <laughs> Shore Home is making shower and bath remodeling easy and more affordable for everyone. Hey everybody, I'm joined by Kirsten Page from West Shore to find out exactly how they're making that happen. Kirsten. So Joe, we've been able to give homeowners over 165,000 of them the shower and bath of their dreams by making it a fast, easy, and convenient experience. But now we're making it even more affordable to start your project without breaking the bank. Mm. Now Kirsten, when someone starts a remodeling project, costs can be a real concern. So how are you making it more affordable to start that project right now? So instead of me telling you, why don't I show you? This homeowner was having some problems with their old shower. They called us, we stopped out, and we completely removed the